Hi everyone, welcome to the last half of the Sunday stream. I welcome you back to Terry and Guild Wars 2. We had a look at Block and Load earlier on today, but I think now what we're going to do is we're going to take you through the Silver Waste Jumping Puzzle. Um, I run through this yesterday and I've got a vague idea where I'm going now, but for any of you that have not had a chance to try the new Silver Waste Jumping Puzzle, um, it's part of the Living World season that's just been released. I'm just going to turn something down here because it's a little louder than I expected. Um, you're going to find that the Silver Waste Jumping Puzzle is part of the new uh, content that's just been released. One moment. That's a little better and I can hear myself in the background so I clearly have got... Uh, twitch on somewhere oh well I'm sure it'll be fine uh, the music in the background is actually the Guild Wars 2 SoundCloud um, but as I said the Silver Waste Jumping Puzzle if you've not tried it already is part of the new Silver Wastes content that's coming in Living World um, what is it now we're on episode 7 um, Seeds of Truth is it Seeds of Truth I think it is Seeds of Truth um, and I'm going to take you through this. So, if you've not already unlocked it, um, you need to go ahead and play through the Living World up to its current iteration and go over to Camp Resolving the Silver Wastes. I'm going to take you through this from the start just to make sure that if you've never tried it before, you can unlock the event. So, we'll just wait for that to load up now. Right, so we're currently in Silver Wastes. And you find we're in Camp Resolve. The jumping puzzle starts off here in Dry Dock Grotto. I've already unlocked that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up there now. So if you've not already been up there, then you will need to go north in the Silver Wastes. Uh, watch out for the trolls as well while crossing the roads. Oh, there's a lost badge I hadn't seen before. Woo! So you find that you're continuing up and round, and we're going up to here, which is Picaroon Scratch. Sounds about right. I can't pronounce these things to save myself, but I'm sure it'll be there somewhere. Now, when you get in here, if all these scrit are here, wandering around, looting all the shiny things, then you'll be able to go straight down into the Silver Waste Jumping Puzzle. Um, if you find there are bandits here, uh, short version of it is kill them all. Um, if bandits are attacking it, kill them all. Um, once the bandits are dead and gone, you'll find that you can go down this tunnel. This is the entrance to the script tunnels. While they are open, you can come down here and you can see the massive script tunnels that are excavated out of this cavern size of them is just ridiculous what you want to do is you want to head down to this waypoint here so we'll worry about exploring later more so we'll go and get this waypoint and you see all the little script here and kit and you'll notice when you get the waypoint there's Velocity Elixir here on the left. These Velocity Elixir will let you know you're on the right path. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Velocity Elixir and you will need to take it in some instances. So do remember to run through them and we'll take you through this now. If you're watching this on YouTube you can probably speed this up a bit. You 
you also probably want to watch out you don't fall off the edge because it's a bit of a fall. You'll probably see how bit of, uh, big a fall it is a little later on. You'll also find that as you go through, you go ahead and you get these away, um, these flag points. Make sure you do get them. These milestones are tracked. You want to have nine by the end of the jumping puzzle, if I remember right. Now, well, I could have given you a guide for this a little earlier. Honestly, I wanted to leave it until everyone had a chance to actually attempt this. So now... I can take you through it if you're having any problems. Make sure you do jump over here and again you see the elixirs here. The elixirs, as I say, are an indicator that you're going to be going in the right direction, so make sure that you continue to keep an eye on those. This is a relatively long jumping puzzle, and it's not the most intuitive, so hopefully I won't get lost and have to edit this through YouTube. We're going to try and do this in one go. If I can do these, then pretty much anyone can, because I am atrocious at jumping puzzles. And this isn't the most difficult jumping puzzle in terms of your um, hand-eye coordination. Uh, it's more about understanding where you need to go. And that's pretty much the most difficult thing about this, is interpreting where to go left, where to go right. So it's very easy when you get up here, for example above the silver wastes. Look, there's Red Rock Bastion out in the silver wastes. People killing all the Mordrum. And these huge vines which are appearing all over the place. That is going to be one big dragon. i tell you that for now. Uh, we need to go around here. And we need to go across this bridge. You can see there's this there another flag point, so that's number three we're at, at the moment. I've already hit the second one without realizing it. Mm. Okay, and we'll be looking to head down here in a moment. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a chest. So hopefully, we can get across here and then down. It's a little bit of cheating by me. I will cheat a little bit as this goes, um, goes along. I will probably use my rifle rather than straight out uh, jump the whole way. But that's just because I can. Don't know if I'm going to make it across now, but we'll give it a try. So you find part of the way through these, you will also get chests as well. So what we're looking to do right now is to go down the way without getting ourselves killed, pretty much. Which is um, going to be interesting. As you can see, there's another elixir down there. So you can go ahead and you can take that elixir. I think we should be able to just fall down here. Yeah, there we go. Do remember to take this velocity elixir, it is pretty essential at this stage.
If you don't take it, you will probably see some issues with getting through this section. Now, for speed, you will, if you're jumping this, want to go over this way. So we can get this done in one go. I'm going to cheat and I am going to just go over and do it this way. And there's another flag there. But you will need to have the velocity elixir to make that jump that we've just gone through with the rifle there. Uh, so do ensure that you're running that. That's the one part of the jumping puzzle that ends up with me going through it again and again and again. This bit also isn't hugely intuitive, but you just need to jump up these rocks until you get to the top. Once you're up at the top, you'll find another elixir here. Again, you will probably find yourself up here, so you're going to be above the silver waste. You can find that if you've been in the silver waste before, you're just above Indigo um, Fort at the moment. And this can turn you around a little bit. We just have a look out here, so you can see some of the silver waste down there. That's Indigo Fort there. You don't want to go down to Indigo Fort. You want to go over in this direction towards the next elixir and jump over it. And you'll be wanting to head down again into the silver wastes here. So again, this is a case of jumping down without getting yourself killed. And you want to head to the bottom of this, so drop down like that. I hope my candy corn can catch up with me. And. There again is another flag. So we're currently at five milestones at the moment. So it's five out of nine. We are unfortunately not halfway there at all. It's a little more than, uh, we're probably about maybe a third of the way through. So there's our next elixir. So we want to get across to that again without dying and without falling all the way to the bottom. Again, we want to head back over here. And all the way back round. And what you'll find down here is just down here, there's a grand chest. So these are always great to pick up. I don't know if I'm going to have enough inventory space. But we'll drop a couple of things and we'll go down and get it. You don't want to do what they did and fall all the way down. You might just drop over here and get yourself a chest. You really seem and then fall down onto these platforms. You can see the next elixir down there. So what you want to do is you want to just run over here. And then jump down to here. It's relatively straightforward that, um, in that respect. The next section here gets a little tricky um, in the respect that you don't want to fall off. So, if you've got swiftness, buff it up. And then swing around there. There's not a lot of room for error in this section. So, yeah, try not to fall. Next stage here is relatively straightforward. It looks a little scary, but you just got to walk off the edge. As for this, you are going to walk straight off the edge here and fall down onto this uh, elixir down here. Don't worry about dying. There's some really helpful little script here that will heal you straight up if you die. That in fact is, although completely counterintuitive, that is entirely the point of this. 
is to go ahead and to get yourself killed there. And try not to fall off the edge there. And try to jump over the rocks. Ready for more. Come all the way around. Now, there's a little tip here that hopefully I won't have to use, but these milestones are great for tracking your progress. They're even better if you fall off all the way to the bottom and kill yourself. You'll find there are scrap about. Those scrap are willing to help you by letting you use their script tunnels. Their script tunnels, though, will send you back to the silver waste or the start. If you pay them a gold, they will generally tend to send you straight back to where you came from. So, I paid the script. I will give the script your shinies. Oh, and there's another chest. Um, and you tend to be able to go straight back to the latest waypoint that you you found. Uh, to be absolutely honest, I have not tried to just give him a copper. Because you can give him a copper, a silver, or something a bit better than that. And you want to jump down here now. So you want to just... Again, I tend to like buffing up speed for this. And get your five. You can see the next elixir down there. And then we head over in this direction. It's very hard to give you north, south, the east and west for this, but once you've done this like once or twice, it becomes relatively straightforward. It just is working out some of the sections first time round become a real pain. Our, yeah. And you can see the next Alexa down there as well, so we should be able to get up to that. He says, hopefully. And then we just head straight round here. And then jump across here. And then, uh, possibly, yep, down onto there, in fact. So you should now be coming up to this sandy area here. Try and stay tight to the wall. It's always best to stay up high. It gives you a bit more leeway. And you should find this huge big cavern you've got to get up. And all this sandfall. And right here, a scrap hole. So let's go ahead and try out the scrap hole now. Okay, this is the section where it becomes a little confusing. Well, it can do. But if you just follow this, hopefully I will guide you in the right direction. So, come over those three planks. Jump across here. You would think you've got to stay up high. Not so much. Going to drop down here. And then go all the way along until you find this scrit hole. Use that scrit hole. And then follow along and up these planks. You see that wind turbine on your left? I'll call it wind turbine. That will do. Um, come all the way on your right even though. Um, come all the way along and jump along these planks. Ignore the first script hole, come all the way along to the second. Go through that. Come up and round. Go over this first plank. Come to the second one. Go in the first script hole. And you've got this velocity elixir. Use the elixir. There are a few guides on the internet that tell you to do this a particular way. I'm going to cut this down and make it a bit faster. Do not go all the way up. Instead, come along this way. 
stay tight to the wall and come in here let's just save you a little time that's all and uh, you can drop down here and come all the way in to this script hole and use it okay you'll find that you are now up by a magnificent chest you can choose to go for the chest if you like this is where I try to remember exactly how to do this because frankly this is one of those mm, do I remember but let's use this okay so the chest you can go and get some other ways but we're gonna go straight to the end here we're gonna go through this so you'll find yourself up here up yon high uh, go through this one and then we need to go all the way along to the end of this here we go all the way up if you like you can jump down and get the chest at the end so that radiant chest we showed you is just down there you can jump down and get it if you like and then you can jump straight back into this hole and go round again for now though we're going to come all the way around to that script hole there so that's the second one on the left there and then you'll find the third script hole on the left just coming up now don't go in that you want to go down and go into that one so without killing ourselves we throw ourselves off here and you can double click on that to ensure that is the correct one you interact with uh, you will now want to go towards these boxes don't go in this top script hole here come down you see this one lying in wait here use it and now should be relatively straightforward should be a case of just following yourself all the way up to the top now just try and stay close to the wall or that will happen and the script will have to raise you thankfully we are only two moments away from where we were so it's not really much of an issue So let's head on back up this time. Um, don't look down. And yeah, try and stay close to the wall. It's a bit slippy out there. Well, the weather has been cold and it has been kind of icy, so... Uh, yeah, we drop down there and then we head all the way up. Again, this is pretty straightforward. There you've got your ninth milestone. So if you've not already got the achievement, you should be getting the achievement just as you head on up here. It's super sparkly up here as well. And this is where you'll find some suspicious rubble. Go ahead and jump on top of the suspicious rubble and you can interact with it. If you've not opened it before, you'll find that there is a key here or key pieces. So I'm not likely to find this this time. I may not even be able to open the chest as this isn't the first time I've done it. Who knows? Um, and... Once you do that, you should be able to head all the way over to the magnificent chest and open it up. When you open that up, you get a number of items. Some of those items 
will include your endless script burglar tonic and you can be a script at home hopefully this has helped a few of you get through this instance or this jumping puzzle anyway for now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the one thing that I haven't been able to show you yet I'm gonna take my heavy sack and I'm gonna throw myself off the end here or maybe we should do it from a bit higher up Ah, oh, lack of being able to jump Ooh. I am not entering combat Well, we see. Well, we see if Silvari can fly. Because this script tunnel isn't working, and I think we should. Let's see if a script burglar can fly. Thanks everyone for watching this guide. Let's see how gravity works. Ah. Oh. Wee. What I did want to show any of you was that if you can get to talk to a member of the script, you'll be able to pay him to go back to your waypoint. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if we're going to get that chance here, but let's have a look. There we go. We've got a kit here. We probably want to talk to the kit. And then try and go into the tunnel. And the tunnel will take us right back to our latest waypoint, or our latest uh, milestone, even. So it's always worth doing. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Hopefully that helps anyone who's not managed to do the jumping puzzles yet. Geronimo!